Welcome marriage and family therapist Keandra Jackson. Licensed marriage and family therapist Keandra Jackson. Marriage and family therapist Keandra Jackson. And this morning we have Keandra Jackson. So we've got relationship therapist Keandra Jackson. Please welcome marriage and family therapist Keandra Jackson. And joining us now is Keandra Jackson. That's why we have Keandra Jackson joining us today. She's a licensed marriage and family therapist in studio to tell us all about how we can refresh our relationships. Because studies have shown that when your core values are the same, those couples tend to be happier and healthier. Men are very sneaky, but they don't do it well. At some point, they <laughs> always get busted. <laughs> so if you have a friend that's suffering, I would encourage you guys to just really provide some unconditional support and love to them because they're fighting battles that no one truly knows about. And oftentimes, people just need a listening ear. They don't want you to fix anything. They just want to be loved on and cared for. Please about sex. Sex bots. But <laughs> <laughs> My celebrity yes, crush tell us. is Michael B. Jordan okay. right now. Good choice. So I'll probably be watching Creed or Black Panther. Yeah. Hey, baby, how's things going? <laughs> that should never happen in your therapy session. In the last probably 60 days, I've experienced three losses. Mm. So I know what it's like to have to need that support system around you. Yeah. So reach out to someone if you really need that. But and it's okay to get professional help, too. The level of guilt and shame that comes with this, and I think that's why people stay so silent, because some of them feel like, it was my fault, I did something, I shouldn't have wore that. And I want to tell you guys, it's never your fault. Nobody should take advantage of anybody in that way, point blank, period. We carry that shame and that guilt for so long, and that's why we grow up to be adults and we haven't said anything. I think the motive that Monica and Bruce could potentially have is simply love. You know, if we think back to when you have started a relationship with someone and you see so much good in it and you remember how things used to be, the good times, you're trying to hold on to that. It really shows that he may not have had the true motive of really trying to rebuild this connection with Monica to begin with. He's been lying to all parties involved. He's been lying to himself. And that isn't a healthy place to be in. A family can't adjust to something of that magnitude. It can have a detrimental effect on everyone involved. For kids at that age to lose both parents, in a sense, can be extremely hard. It's a double hit. And I'm not sure how easily children can recover from such a very monumental blow. I think it impacts them emotionally. I think it impacts their whole entire world. And not only did that change the relationship with Heather, but that also, I'm sure, changed the relationship that James had with Sheila. There's so many people who still have that stigma of going to a physical office or a location to see a therapist. There is a lot that goes into becoming a licensed therapist. BetterHelp makes therapy accessible to all for a number of different reasons. Sometimes people are looking for that relatability. They're looking for someone who looks like them. BetterHelp has been a game changer across the board. If I just change one person, that's what wakes me up every morning. I really want her to just have some good, clean fun and not put so much pressure on herself to find that or chase that falling in love feeling because I think oftentimes in the early stages of dating and relationships, we, we chase that, you know, that falling in love. And I want her to take the pressure off herself to do that. And secondly, I want her to just to stick to her core values, you know? And I think that she'll do well if she sticks to those three.